Morning, mates. Welcome back, Simply Shit. Uh, I nearly said Simply Snuff then. <laughs> Simply Whitby, that's what it is. <laughs> Snuff's my other one. <laughs> I'm just in, having a warm. It's uh, a bit bloated this morning. Uh, I'm at the top of Tay Till outside the uh, Duke of York. Absolutely lovely in here. I, I don't know whether you've been in. I will be doing a, a, a video in here at some stage. It's absolutely lovely. All refurbished. Food looks great. Uh, bar staff and everything are really nice. But as I've said to you before, we always get the best staff in with me. Always, mates. Um, yeah, so... I was out recording, uh, the reason I was thinking of the snuff thing was I was out recording a um, a video yesterday and I was at the end of uh, Taytill Pier, minding my own business, I recorded my video and um, yeah, um, the North East Guardian protecting our fisheries boat came past. <laughs> so I grabbed the opportunity to film it. Now it's not a long video but I think, as I've said to you before, this this channel's not about the regular stuff, you know, you're going to see on Whitby. It's not about that. It's not particularly about food. It's not really about anything more of a vlog than anything else, isn't it? But I do try and bring you stuff that's a bit different, um, stuff you don't see, um, stuff you're not likely to see. I, I reckon a lot of people will probably don't know that um, the North East Guardian's actually moored here in, uh, in Whitby. Uh, it's up in the marina, so if you're ever wondering around the marina where the um, Whitby Tourist Information Centre is, if you look behind there, um, that's usually where the boat's moored, so you'll get a better look at it there, but it, I, I think it's still out at sea at the moment. So yeah, I just recorded this video, and there I was. Um, I thought I'll play it back because you're never quite sure when you've recorded these. Like I've just been recording this now and I just started it and all of a sudden the battery ran out. And uh, I checked it before I set off, so I... I, I who knows? I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are, Simon. Uh, I've got another little story about this, this, this exact spot and that's why I've sat here. Uh, I've got one of those drone things. Uh, I don't have it at the moment. Um, um, Mrs M's got it. I don't know why, but she has. Um, so uh, when she's back, she'll be bringing it with her. Um, and it's the first time I'd flown it. So I was at the other side on uh, Taytill Pier and uh, I was flying this drone and I pressed the back home button and that's what it's supposed to do is it goes up in the air and then it comes back to where you are. So I pressed the back home button, it shot up about 150 feet, went absolutely bananas, flew over the top of this pub and crashed into this very spot. Fortunately for me, fortunately for me, it wasn't damaged this time, but I did it again and I smashed it to smithereens. So... Uh... <laughs> That was £795 down the drain. So, uh, yeah, lessons learned, eh? So now I'm in fully insured. I can crash three every year and uh, I get a new one for 50 quid. Yeah. The things we do. Anyway, um, so yeah, Northeast Guardian. Uh, it's a fisheries protection boat. Um, it was coming up the esk into heading out to sea. Uh, uh, trying to catch people who's trying to nick our cod and our addock for our fish shops, uh, which is no good, is it? We don't want anybody nicking us addock. And uh, yeah, I got it filmed. So I'm going to go back down there. And what I'm also going to do is I've got one of these little wristbands and I'm going to show you. I'm going to hide one down there when I was filming and I'll put this on the end of the video. Three minutes 52, I think that's long enough. It's, this is only a little short video, but I hope you enjoy it. Something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, the end of this video, I'll show you where the, uh, where the wristband's in. So I'll see you in a second or two. Right, mate, so I'm at the back of the Duke of York, side of the board in. Quick look over Whitby, but you've seen all of this stuff before. You might not have seen the uh, Whitby sea salt boat there. Uh, so there it is. <laughs> I don't know where the vinegar boat is, but uh, <laughs> I love my gags. Man with a lolly. <laughs> Lovely. So let's have a wonder up here. This is Tate Hill Pier. As I say, I was here yesterday doing a bit of filming. And I was, uh, I was up at the top. Can you see those uh, uh, lobster nets? Um, lobster pots, not nets cabbage lobster pots and I was just sat there literally sat there and then coming up the uh, coming up the uh, estuary here 
just by the RNLI was the uh, yeah what, what's it called it's called the the Northern Guardian is it called the Northern Guardian I think it is and came chugging up there and you don't often see it so luckily for me I was just going over me uh, me uh, video I just recorded so everything was set up I don't know whether I'm repeating myself here but I probably am so I thought right we'll show our lovely viewers the northeast guardian or the northeastern guardian whatever it is um when you see this I, I get it right in the video itself <laughs> look somebody's dumped a crab bucket oh, i hate to see stuff thrown about all over the place i really do i'm always picking litter up i think folks think i'm some sort of nutter going around picking litter up and putting it in bins but i can't do with it Honestly, it does me head in. Anyway, you want to know where this wristband is. So here's the anchor. Many of you may know the anchor. Many of you may not. And I've been here earlier and I've tucked it. Can you see it? I've tucked it in there. You probably can just see it peeking out. <laughs> Go around the other side, see whether you can get a better view. Oh, there you are, mate. You can see it there. Can you see it? I don't know. I'm doing my best for you. So that's it really. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this crab bucket. It's got an hole in it anyway. And then uh, I'm gonna, I think I might go to Greg's and have a, have a butty and a cup of coffee and uh, there's a the right cheery soul in there, but uh, you know, I'm always telling you we get the best, uh, best stuff. <laughs> it whipped me, but <laughs> there's always one exception in there. So that's it, mates. I'll put my uh, uh, crab bucket down for the minute. I'll show you the lobster nets, lobster pots. And, uh, yeah, you know where the wristband is. So uh, I hope you're enjoying the videos. As I say, they're a little bit random, but uh, they're not what, you know... I'm not going to do the, no the normal touristy ones and stuff like that. Get a bit boring, don't they? <laughs> you are rude. I'll see you later. Keep well. Chin chin. Well, 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 I've just been recording a, a snuff video and I've sat down here just to review it and look what's coming up the esk, heading out to sea. No swizzle on my camera or anything, can we just... Yeah, oh, here we go. <laughs> it's a bit ad lib this one, mates, but this is the North Eastern Guardian 3 Fisheries Patrol, making sure people's not nicking our fish. <laughs> We wouldn't want people nicking our fish, would we? And these are the people that are here to stop it. Look at that for a piece of gear, eh? It's a eight piece of kit, that, isn't it? You hear the engines? Let's see whether I can swizzle around manually and not ruin this video. I'll do my best for you. It's a bit ad lib, this one. That's why I always say, bring your camera with you, Simon. If you go out, bring your camera. Have we got, I don't even know whether we've got this in. Yeah, probably have. Come on, keep twizzling it around. Get out of picture, Simon. Let it run for a minute or two, see what we've got. Oh, my microphone's still plugged in. Don't know how long it's been going on, but there you go. Fisheries patrol, patrolling our, 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 our seas, making sure nobody's nicking our cod and our addict. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Good on them, I say. Thanks for watching. Chin chin.